What's up, everybody, and welcome into the 24-7 Sports Channel for yet another big announcement. And tonight, it is one of the very best point guards and players in the entire country, El Marco Jackson, out of the We Are One Under Armour Association program and from the South Kent School, who will announce his commitment live here on the 24-7 Sports Channel. There you get a look at his profile, a four-star national prospect, number 18 overall in the national class, and the fourth best point guard, six foot three, 185 pounds, one of the most physically dominant lead guards in the entire country. But for more on what makes El Marco Jackson so special, we're going to go over to National Director of Basketball, Eric Bossi, who is live and in person. And Ebos, what do you like about El Marco Jackson? I like pretty much everything about El Marco. Really, his maturity and his approach, yeah. along with his physical nature of his play. The guy wants to get downhill. He wants to go through defenders, around defenders. He's going to finish strong around the basket. He's also got a very calming way about the way he plays that teammates really thrive off of. He never gets too high. He never gets too low. He pulls guys aside and leads them, both by example and with his words. He's working on the jump shot. That's going to come along with time. But the way he gets downhill and gets to the room is really what stands out most with him. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. And I think, you know, you hit the nail right on the head there when you talk about his approach. I mean, his decision making, his ability to make reads and see the floor just improved so much here uh, within the last year. But but specifically within the last six months. And I don't know about you, but I thought that was really what pushed his recruitment to the highest level, because up until June, you know, his recruitment was was very much kind of the same schools it had been since his junior year, but things just exploded down the stretch. Yeah, no doubt. I think people are getting to see that improved decision making. I think maybe some along the way there was a little bit of a question is, is he more athlete than skilled guy? And some people had questions about that. And I'm sure El Marco, like everyone, thought that he probably deserved a little bit more credit. And it turns out he did. But what I love about him is that you never saw him going online and saying, they're sleeping on me, they're doing this, they're doing that. He just worked. And as it always seems to happen, the work on his game showed, and eventually he got to the level that he should be at, and then he maybe should have been at a little bit before we got him up to this point. Yeah, no doubt about it. He is a, a very mature young man. And, Ibas, we will be back with you soon. Right now we are going to go to that young man himself who is uh, – Back home tonight, you see him there with his mom. El Marco, what's up, man? Hey, how you doing? I'm great, thanks. And before we get going here, I want to give you a chance to introduce your mom and anybody else who may be with you here on this special night. Um, so to my right here is my, is my mom. Um, yeah, she just has done a lot for me. Uh, so I want to thank her, like, gratefully. Uh, she made me the man I am today. Um, and to the people that are with me here, uh, for my announcement. I just want to thank you guys all for being here. Um, you guys don't have to be here. It's not an obligation that you guys uh, needed to be here. So I just want to thank everybody for being here. Uh, so thank you guys. Uh, you guys have all helped me uh, to get to this point. So I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. All right. Now, before we get to the big moment, El Marco, I don't know if you could hear, but but Eric Bossi and I were just talking about how your recruitment really exploded over the summer. I remember uh, being on camera with you in June and you telling me, you know, my recruitment really hasn't changed too much. And then, boy, did that flip in a hurry because you became probably the most recruited point guard in the country in July. I mean, you really had your choice. So what was that? that process like as we get a look at your finalists here you, you narrowed it down to kansas miami notre dame texas and villanova but what was that like to to kind of see things finally um you know escalate to to the level that your play dictated um i mean it was great uh it's always great seeing your work come out um uh pretty much to the front line uh you know what i'm saying i've had a lot of coaches and, and just people just help me become a better player, become a better person. And just to kind of see it just explode like that was, it was unreal. Um, and like I said, I have great people around me, a great circle around me that uh, kept me level-headed. Uh, never, never, you know what I'm saying, made me out to be this guy that I was already a big guy. Um, there's still a lot of work to be done. So, I mean, it's great. I'm just happy for the opportunity that all these schools have given me. So 
yeah, I just want to just happy. Like, I'm excited. All right. All right. Well, that having been said, uh, you've got five hats in front of you. You can only wear one of them. So this is your moment. You take your time with it. Let us know what's the uh, next step in your process. So, uh, like I said before, I just want to thank all the coaches that have put their time and energy into recruiting me, uh, forming real relationships with my family uh, and the people in my close circle. Um, but like you said, there can only be one school. Um, and uh, that school is Kansas. Ooh. Congratulations. <laughs> well, congratulations. That is awesome. You know, I know you didn't get to see it, but you're going to be able to look back on this video and see that proud look on your mom's face. That's going to be a lot of fun for you in, in the years to come. But um, now, now, Marco, your decision was a big mystery. Everybody, I was joking with you earlier that everybody was asking me, where's he going? Where's he going? I kept saying, and legitimately so, I didn't know. I don't think anybody knew where you were going. So what was it about Kansas that made them your choice? Um, I mean, when it comes to Kansas, um, it's it's pretty hard to beat. Uh, the coaching staff is, is great. Um, the winning uh, record is great. Coach Self and staff are, are, are top tier when it comes to uh, coaching staffs across the nation. Um, and for me, um, going to college, I don't want to be uh, that guy that averages 30 and when the team loses. I'd rather be a guy that contributes hard, good minutes, uh, valuable minutes, and helps the team win. Uh, I, I, I like to win. I'm not saying that any of these schools don't win, but I feel like uh, Kansas gives a great opportunity for me to be a, become a winner, go, go deep in the Final Four, and then develop as a player. I know those were the two big criteria for you. Uh, you talked about that earlier today. You wanted to play deep in the NCAA tournament and continue to develop as a player. What was Kansas's vision for you in terms of what the future future would entail, both in the short term and in the long term? Um, so for the for the short term, as, uh, as a freshman, I had the opportunity to earn a starting spot for valuable minutes and, and help an already great team uh, possibly become even better. Uh, Come even better. So, uh, in long term, just being a part of that that Jayhawk family, uh, when I'm not come back, they show love to their families uh, and, and their players. When I came back, they had players come back, and it's it's a genuine family where they love each other and care for each other. Well, I'll tell you what, Marco, that family is going to love what they are getting with you because not only are you a heck of a basketball player who continues to get better at each step in the process, but you're a very impressive young man. Um, credit to you, Mom. Thank you guys both for doing this here with us tonight, and, and congratulations. Now it's time to go celebrate with all those family and friends behind you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. Well, huge news for Kansas now. That gives them three four-star prospects in the national class of 2023. El Marco Jackson, number 18 in the top 24 seven, we are gonna bring back in Eric Bossy to see exactly what this means. Eric, big news for the Jayhawks and Bill Self. What does this mean for Kansas? No, it, it means a lot of things. They really targeted perimeter versatility in the class of 2023. And they've got that now, you know, three top 50 guys and all guys that I think can play together long-term. One of the things that really, is going to be beneficial for El Marco going to Kansas is yeah, he's going to have a chance to start, but they're more than likely going to have Dewan Harris there. Who's going to log a lot of minutes as a point guard, very patient guy, um, a leader by example, and there won't be as much pressure on El Marco to be a full-time ball handler. He's going to be able to get it and go, and they're going to be really dangerous with multiple ball handlers like that. And then a guy like Chris Johnson from Houston, who's at Montverde this year, who can play some on the ball. He's actually much more comfortable off the ball. So you, you take a little bit of the pressure off him. Now he can be off the ball and be explosive and just go focus on scoring what he does. And then he has a guy like Jamari McDowell, who's just kind of a jack of all trades. Um, I wrote an analysis piece on it. And I think that McDowell has a chance to play a role similar to the one that Travis Relford played on the 2012 Kansas team that came within seconds of winning a national championship game. So I think they've got a nice mix of guys who can help immediately 
but are also maybe going to be there for a couple of years and really help build that long-term backcourt that they like. But El Marco specifically, he's a Bill self-guard if I've ever seen one, and he just seems to be a fantastic fit for them. And you know what's interesting to me? A lot of kids talk about picking, you know, a place they can win and contribute. But, I mean, his decision-making backed it up. If he wanted to go to a place where he'd be guaranteed more minutes, more volume, more shots, have the ball in his hands right away, you know, there were other options that probably had more to offer him. But he said, and he said the same thing to me behind the scenes that he said tonight. He said, I want to win. And I'm willing to to sacrifice some of my individual stats initially to do that. But but I want to win and continue to work on my game in the process. So I just think his entire decision making process is is really reflects that that maturity. Were you um, I mean, we don't really see this very often in this day and age where, where, where a young man takes kind of this this, uh, you know, the path less traveled, so to speak, of saying, you know what, I, I'm willing to to wait my turn and excited about playing with with other good players. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. You certainly don't hear guys say that, hey, I know I may have to, to take some time. Everyone says, you know, I can come in and start and stuff like that. And they may throw in and I've got to earn it. But he seems to truly understand that. And and he brought it up, too. You know, all those other programs are, are winning programs. Certainly Kansas fans yeah. know firsthand um, with some battles they've had with Villanova over the years. You know, they, they've each gone through each other to win their last national championship. So they certainly know about that. And going out and doing something that, you know, like it might – seem like an easy choice to go to Kansas. It's not always that easy either to go to a school like that and know you're going to have to fight, but it just speaks to his character. And I think his school list was pretty reflective of places that he was going to have to learn. And he didn't get, you know, taken in by any places where I know, okay, I'm going to go in and get all these shots. And as you said, the actions back it up. And I think Kansas fans are going to be really excited about that. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think this is a huge win for Kansas fans. There's a lot of talk about whether they'd be able to sustain the momentum with Bill Self off the road this summer. They've now certainly done that. Three commitments, ironically, all out of the Under Armour Association with El Marco Jackson joining a pair of Houston Defenders players. But I love what they're doing on the perimeter. Their collective size, the versatility that you mentioned, it is uh, it is a just the trio, I think, that they were targeting. We've got lots more on this. You have to visit the 24-7 Sports site right now. I've got a story up. As Eric mentioned, he's going to have analysis. We are going to continue to go deep into this story. And if you liked what you saw tonight and you've liked some of the other commitments we've been able to bring you this fall, please be sure to like and subscribe to the 24-7 Sports YouTube channel. Thanks very much for joining us, and we'll see you again real soon.